You may have seen people using an Arduino to automate the Chrome Dino game. I thought we could take it a bit further and have one Arduino playing the Chrome Dino game on another Arduino. I've set up one Arduino to run a simple version of the Chrome Dino game, which produces a continuous stream of randomly spaced cactuses at an increasing speed. The single button on the keypad shield is then used to make the dinosaur jump over each cactus, until the player messes up and hits one. Score is kept based on how long you're able to avoid running into a cactus. Instead of just playing the game on an Arduino, I set up a second one, which uses an LDR to sense each cactus and then moves a servo to press the button on the other Arduino to make the dinosaur jump. We'll first have a look at running the dino game on an Arduino, and then set up the second to play the game on the first. The code would be the same to set the Arduino up to play on your computer as well. I've put links to the components you need in the video description. Let's start off with the dino game. I didn't code the dino game. It's based on a version I found online and I've linked to it in the video description. It's written in AVRC code, so it looks a little different to the generic Arduino language, but you should still be able to figure a lot of it out. A general overview is that the game speeds up the longer you play it. Cactuses are initially separated by a minimum of 5 spaces, and this goes down to 3 spaces as the game progresses. The current score is displayed throughout the game, and is joined by the high score at the end of the game. Cheating by holding down the button, or continuously pressing the button is prevented. I've made a couple of other changes to the original version of the code, for the timing, cactus spacing and the text layout to better accommodate the sensor. The game is quite easy to play on the LCD keypad shield, although the buttons are not the best for quick presses and the LCD is quite slow, so it starts suffering from ghosting and brightness issues once the cactuses start moving quickly. Now let's have a look at the playing Arduino. The component wiring is quite simple, and involves simple circuits for the LDR, LED and servo. I initially included an LED to light up when each cactus was detected, but the light started interfering with the LDR, so I turned it off. I connected the components together using a few strips of ribbon cable, and some header pins. Now let's have a look at the player code. We start by including the servo library to control the servo. We then create a server object called player to control the server, and then create two variables, one to store the value read from the LDR, and a second to store the light level set point when a cactus passes in front of the LDR. In the setup function, we set the server pin number, and then set the server position slightly above the jump button. In the loop function, we read in the LDR sensor level, then compare to the cactus set point. If the measured level is greater than the cactus set point, indicating a cactus is passing the sensor, then we move the servo downwards to push the button. We then wait 300 milliseconds for the servo to move and for the game to register the input, and then move the servo back up for the next push. I've also included a serial monitor printout of the sensor value, which is used to initially set the cactus value set point. You'll need to run the game and display the sensor values, and then see what value is measured when a cactus passes by the sensor. You can then update this value in the code accordingly. Let's mount the components, upload the code and see how it works. It initially looks like the sensor is making the dinosaur jump a little too early, but it doesn't hit the cactuses and you'll need it to respond quickly later on in the game. You may need to make adjustments to the servo travel limits and to the cactus detection set points in your code in order to get it to work correctly. Also make sure that you position the LDR as close to the LCD as possible. These LDRs are really sensitive. I noticed a significant drop in the measured values with me moving around the room or at different times of the day. It would be a good addition to add a pot to adjust the set points at any time. This way you could get it to work in different light conditions and use it in the Arduino game or on your computer without having to change the code.
Thanks for watching and remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.